Welcome back to Tea For Me Please. My name is Nicole, I'm a tea writer and educator and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. Today I wanted to share a really useful hack um, for figuring out the capacity of your brewing vessel. This can be especially helpful for teapots and gaiwans that are meant for gongfu brewing uh, because they have a smaller capacity and they do tend to be measured in milliliters, which can be hard to measure using what you already have at home since usually, like especially here in the United States, we'll use cups or teaspoons or tablespoons to measure things um, that are liquid. I first learned this trick from the coffee world, but the same concept applies to tea as well. So what you're going to need is your brewing vessel. Um, so this is a celadon teapot that I have. Um, I generally do use it for gong fu brewing, even though it is a little bit on the larger side. A digital scale that's able to measure in grams and some water. You can use hot water, but you don't have to. I just happen to have some water in my kettle here to make it a little bit easier to pour. One milliliter of water weighs exactly one gram. And since we know that to be true, you can measure the capacity of your brewing vessel simply by measuring its weight with the water inside of the vessel. So your first step would be to put your vessel on the, on the scale, and you're gonna hit the tear button just to make sure that it's at zero. We wanna remove the weight of the vessel, that way we know we're only measuring the water. Make sure your units are set to grams, and then you're just gonna slowly start pouring your water in. You wanna go slowly enough that the scale can still register the weight changes. So I filled it up to the top, um, and it's about 190 grams, so that tells me it's about 190 milliliters, not counting when you have tea inside. Um, once you add tea leaves, it's gonna be slightly less, um, but that gives you a good general idea of what the capacity of your brewing vessel is. From there, it's also really easy to then figure out how much tea you're going to need to brew gong fu style. A general rule of thumb is to use one gram of tea leaves for every 10 to 20 milliliters of water. Um, so you just do some simple math and that will tell you how many grams of tea you need to use. That can vary a lot based on the tea you're making, um, and your own personal preferences, but it's a good starting point. I hope that you enjoyed this little hack. Let me know in the comments if there's another method that you like to use for measuring your brewing vessels. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>